saltiness isn't blizzards, today I bring you something a little different. So the recipe of the day today, we are going to bake something delicious, and it is pistachio bundt cake. Now, I will warn you that this recipe is simple, quick, easy, and delicious. Unfortunately, does have a little higher salt content. So just wanna put that little warning out there just so you're aware. A lot of the places where our salt is hiding in this recipe are just a few things. We've got a pistachio pudding mix, it's hiding in there. We've got our cake mix, some in there, and then we've got five eggs. So obviously eggs have some salt, but you put five of them together, that adds up to more salt. And then we've got uh, some milk, but small amount of milk. And I went with whole milk, which has a lower salt content than the others. So let's get started. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Get a large bowl, doesn't matter if it's glass or not. And we're gonna start mixing. So first ingredient is going to be yellow cake mix. Any yellow cake mix will do. You just wanna make sure there is no pudding in the mix. So we're gonna pour that in our bowl. There we go. Next up, two boxes of pistachio pudding mix. Any brand, any kind will do. And we wanna pour those in. So there those are right on top. You can see all the little pieces of pistachio inside that mix. Our next three ingredients are all the same measurements. So they're all going to be a half a cup each. We're going to put in half a cup of water and notice when we do that, how you get that pop of green in there from the pudding mix. Half a cup of milk. Any style milk will do. Like I said, I went with whole milk. It has a little less salt in it. And a half a cup of oil. I am using a canola oil. So there, all of that liquid is kind of moving around on the top. And our very last ingredient will be five raw eggs. Just pour those in. So here it is, unmixed, kind of a big mess in our bowl. Now we're gonna mix it up really, really well. Um, you can use whatever you prefer. I'm gonna start with this fun little silicone whisk I was gifted many years ago. Let's see how this goes with our whisk. And the good thing here is if you were looking to get an arm workout, look no further than this recipe, because this will do the trick for you. So yeah, slowly starting to blend. Want to make sure we get all the way to the bottom where all the powder is kind of hiding underneath that liquid. Got that all mixed up. So there's our lovely thick green mixture. Next step, we want to get a bundt pan and we want to heavily, heavily coat it with some cooking spray. Making sure to go all the way to the top and then around that piece in the middle. So it should look something like that. And now we want to pour that entire mixture into our pan. I kind of like to go around at least in the beginning, even though you really don't have to. If you stay in one spot, it will kind of even itself out throughout the bunt pan. But I kind of like to just help it along the way. Give you a little peek of how that's coming along. Okay guys, tried to give you a bird's eye view of this before it went in the oven, but apparently it didn't take. So here it is after it's been in the oven, just a short while. Um, so you do want to bake it at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes. So anywhere between 40 and 45 minutes, you will check it. It should have a nice golden brown top. Okay, our beautiful golden brown and green pistachio bundt cake is done out of the oven. In total, it baked for 45 minutes. So now even though it's very tempting, the key is to let this sit, let this cool before we do anything else. 
I did want to also mention that uh, to test if it's done before you take it out of the oven, you can always insert a toothpick or I've got this handy little fella. And this is basically a metal toothpick or it's used just for this purpose. So you just are going to stick it in there, kind of right in the middle, pull it out. As long as it comes out clean or nearly clean, you know that your cake, uh, your bunt cake is done. Okay, so our bundt cake has had a chance to cool. It's been cooling now for right around one hour. It is still slightly warm, but plenty cool to take it out of the pan now. So just wanted to share this with you guys. Years ago, I found this great set. This came with a bundt pan inside of it. And then this is just a great way to store. And that is what I'm gonna put my bundt cake on. So moving on to this, just a little tip just to make sure that it does come out in one piece. I have a little spatula here and I just kind of took it all the way around, lifted that up just a little bit to make sure nothing is sticking. And if it is, I can kind of get in there with this before I dump it onto my platter here. So here we go. And look at that. That is exactly how we want that to come out of there. One solid piece and all that golden brown stayed on there, didn't stick inside the pan. So now I will cut a big slice. Take a look at that, guys. Take a look at just all the delicious colors. You can kind of see a little hint of pistachio right there. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.